Delish, I'm Katie Lee. Welcome to my kitchen. Come on in. So this is my kitchen. It's a little bit on the smaller side. It's a galley kitchen. So everything that's in here has to have a purpose. I think of it like a boat. If it's coming in here, it better be doing something. I even have my washer dryer right here. It might be small, but my favorite part of it is when I'm doing dishes. This is the view. And my least favorite part is the size of the oven. It's a little on the small side. Hard to fit a Thanksgiving turkey in there. I spend the most time standing in this spot right here on my gel pad, at my cutting board, and then I can cook right here at the stove, usually making a pasta. We have pasta quite a bit in this house. I've been here for about a year with my husband. And we've got a little one on the way and a cute little doggy, Gus, who's running around here somewhere. And I have to say the coolest person that I've ever cooked for in this kitchen is behind that camera. My husband, Ryan. Say hi. <laughs> He's super cool. So let me show you my pantry. My pantry meaning <laughs> my cabinets. So a couple things that I always have on hand we always have beans, we love beans, specifically these Piquito beans that are from the Central Coast of California. And I always have canned tomatoes so that I can make a quick sauce because you will always find pasta in this house. No carb left behind. Now onto my refrigerator. Here in my fridge, you'll always find a lot of produce. I've got a big bag of kale here because I usually have a kale salad just about every single day for lunch. Which leads me to the other thing I always have, my Healthy Choice Power Dressings. I just really like these, especially this creamy Italian because it has cauliflower puree in it. So I'm always looking for a way to get extra veggies. Other thing I always have, Parmesan cheese. Take a look at that big hunk in there. So that started off as a 25 pound block of Parmesan that we had for a Christmas party and it's uh, summertime and it's still here. <laughs> In my freezer, we've always got frozen fruit, frozen vegetables, and frozen meats up here so that we can thaw it out and make an easy dinner. Tonight I'm thawing a ribeye and I'm going to make a recipe for Thai beef salad which I'm getting out of one of my favorite cookbooks over here. It's Jet Tila's 101 Asian Dishes to Cook Before You Die. I also love Lily Coonan's Good Clean Food and my buddy, Gabby Dalkin, her new book, Eat What You Want. We love to eat what we want. Three things you'll never find in my kitchen, really sugary cereals, we just aren't into those, candy other than chocolate, I've always gotta have chocolate around, and appliances or tools that don't do more than one thing. I'm tight on space, so it's gotta be multifunction. Biggest disaster in this kitchen, I haven't had any huge ones, but because the oven is on the smaller side, when you put in a full sheet pan, it goes you know, side to side, so I don't get good air circulation and my cookies burn on the bottom. Let me show you in my cabinets and drawers. So up here, I've got dishes, my plates, bowls. My husband and I are always making smoothie bowls. And over here, we've got glassware, coffee mugs, and then this is more pantry. We've got our breads, our nuts, our cereals. Down here's my spice drawer and grill tools. My rolling pin, this is uh, something that doesn't get brought out all the time, but when it does, I'm usually making some good biscuits. And our silverware and tools here. I keep my cookware down here, and this gets used all the time. So I get a lot of questions on social media about this. It's a universal lid, and I just love it. It's from a brand called Made In, and they're actually selling these to go all the proceeds for uh, Restaurant Workers Relief. So I really love their stuff. Another thing that I think is important to have is an oven-proof non-stick skillet. So we use this whenever we're cooking fish, like 
Uh, we love to make salmon. I'll sear it in the pan and then finish it in the oven. Something that I don't use that often, but I can't bring myself to get rid of, shellfish tools. These probably only get taken out a couple times a year, maybe, but when they do, I'm really glad that I have them. I think it might be time for some crab or some lobster. What do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> my cameraman's into that. Thanks for coming by, Delish. It was fun to show you around my kitchen. See you next time.